Greetings everyone, this is Alt Lexington with part 8 of my Agents of Yesterday levelling. And we're about to play the next episode on the list, the Kuba Mark. A federation system with more than 7 billion inhabitants spread across three M-class worlds, a Vulcan protectorate system for more than three centuries, the Regulans petitioned for independence in, early, in the early 21st century, the Federation Embassy on Regulus, I don't know Roman numerals, is one of the largest in the sector. So we're at the Regulus system by the looks of things. To begin the episode, the Kuba Mark, Tom Paris's and Balana Torres's daughter. Now, before we go into the episode, I just want to check, because it's been a day since I played this character, I just want to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Whoops. I haven't changed anything since the end of episode, um, video 7. I just took a day's breather. Okay, everything's as it was when I left it. It's a pity that's a disruptor cannon, because if it was a phaser cannon, I might be able to make a phaser build. I mean, a cannon build, sorry. <laughs> anyway, everything seems fine, so I might just pop straight into this episode. Begin. Captain, the census indicates several groups of Orion Syndicate ships patrolling near the communication satellite ahead of us. I'm trying to contact the surface. I think the Orions are using the communication satellite in orbit to boost their comm jamming. We're not getting through, sir. I recommend destroying the Orion ships in orbit here. That should open up communication to the planet defeat the Orion ships. So Tamet recommends we destroy these Orion ships. Well, that's pretty heartless, isn't it? Instead of luring them off, <laughs> instead we just go and kill them. Yeah, very starfly of us. Kill them. Don't try something less murderous. Don't bother respecting life. I know they're the enemy, but still. Who cares? Kill them all. So let's go for this one since it looks like a bigger one from this distance. Torpedoes. Come on, torpedoes. There we go. Bit of a slow start for me. But then yesterday, during my breather from this character, I was playing my main character. And, um, he was a lot faster than this. Especially in his PvP build, which depended on speed. What was that he shot at me? That was unusual. Thank you. 
Two. Gladly. It's funny, Torps can escape while in tractor hold. And they say on Star Trek that probes can't break free of track can't be launched while in a tractor hold. So why can Torps break free when in a tractor hold? Captain, I've made contact with Lieutenant Mirrell Paris on the surface. She is our Starfleet liaison for the peace conference. Okay, put the Cooper mark on the screen. Mirrell Paris requesting immediate assistance. Klingons and Orions have beamed in and taken hostages. Have they now? We're ready to beam down. Give me a status report. I only just barely escaped myself. Beam down to my coordinates. This area should be safe. I wonder if this is the original actress from the TV show doing the voice. I hope so. They usually do that on Star Trek Online. Okay. Yep, that looks good. Good waiting. Let them do most of the work, of course. There she is. A mongrel child, as they say. Some of them say. I'm ready to assist you. Really? I thought I was here to assist you. But then I am the superior officer. In every way. I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. We don't have time right now. Once we get these bombs disarmed, I will answer any questions you might have. Good, you sound like your mother. <laughs> I'm ready to assist you. What is the situation, Lieutenant? You're here just in time. A group of Klingon operatives is attempting to sabotage the peace conference. They're planting explosive charges throughout the grounds, and they have Orion Syndicate forces as backup. There are Federation security forces here on Regulus 4, but they're outnumbered and outgunned. We need to get the ambassadors to safety. We can't free the diplomatic team from the embassy until the grounds are secure. Stopping the Klingons and deactivating those explosives are our top priorities. Only then can we get into the embassy. Accolade complete. Delta Quadrant Descendant. If I remember back when I first leveled up characters, five years ago when I leveled up my main, this was the Tribble episode where you got tribbles, tribbles and tribbles. But, but my memory might be sketchy from the last time I leveled up a character. So what we've got to do is investigate the temporal probe. Now yeah, that's interesting. Defuse Klingon special spatial charges, and they're on the map pointing to them. Uh, I don't see any probe around here yet. But what we can do is help out these guys. Do you want a grenade? Here, have one. I hope you like that. Die! You liking this to met? A little bit. Um, there, to met. She's a bit. Um, she's a Vulcan, but I swear she's got some Romulan in her. The way she likes things to be killed. What's the matter with you? You take two of these and call me in the morning. By the way, you might grow a new kidney.
We're supposed to be diffusing the charges, but I haven't seen any yet. And I haven't seen the probe either. Um, they're dead. There's no need to shoot the ocean. The ocean's not going to attack. See the one we just healed? looking around for spatial charges. They usually look like two barrels strapped together. What's the matter with you? Take two of these and call me in the morning. Make sure I check every little bit of this map in case there's a probe somewhere. Look at Tamet, she loves going in there. She's a scientist. Not a tactical, but I swear she's a bit sadistic. <laughs> I mean, she's a Vulcan, but she must have Romulan in her somewhere. Jarek is um, envious of her tactical skills, feeling a bit inadequate as a tactical officer next to Tamet, the science sadist. Disarm special charge. And that's the first one. I'm not going to be rushing myself through this levelling of this character. I'm going to take my time and just um, level him up, enjoying the story and having a look around at all the map builds that have been created for the episode. I'm not going to rush him. Not speed leveling. You're alright, mate. Yeah, you look alright. Right, there was another building over this way. Haven't seen the temporal probe yet. Ah, that's probably it. They're nothing they're not people I should kill, no. These temporal probes look like Nicole technology. And then they update me about what the Nicole are doing. Test combination of digits until you find the sequence that matches. Oh yes, this is what we've done this one already. So test. None right. Change digit. Change first digit. Number one, test. Doesn't work. Change digit, change first digit. Two, test. So there is a number two in the combination, but it's in the wrong location right now. So change digit change second to two, test, wrong location, change third to two, test. So the third number is the number two. There is a number three in there, but it's in the wrong location. So change second digit to 
test two digits in the right, so we've got the middle two digits. Change first to four. Test. That's fourth digit done. So I mean the first digit done. Now we change the last digit. Give it a five. No, that's wrong. Change fourth digit, make it a four. Test. And we've done it. You got it. Then a call dropped off agents to help the Klingons circumvent security. This explains how they were able to get to the planet and reach the conference. Keep an eye out for Nicole. They may have left some agents to help the Klingons. Okay, take item. Component for R&D. So we've done the probe. Now we've got to find more special charges to disarm. Just have a look at these people. No, they don't seem to be bothered by anything. I bet the charges are up the hill. Because I don't see any here. Oh, I should exercise more. This is wearing me out. Just keep an eye out on the sides of the buildings just in case we miss a spatial charge. Clingons! this charge and then shoot them once. These bombs are bigger than usual. Ryan's. Haven't seen a Nicole yet. Somebody's got a smoke grenade by the looks of things. What's the matter with you? It hurts! Arise! 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 Feel the power! Right. Continue up the hill. That's a big building there. Do we go to that one first or do we go to that one up there? I think this one first because the one up there looks a bit fancier. So that might be the conference building. So this is a side building. Why would they shoot at their own cover mark? I mean, she never asked for that title. Nice way to die. They're slowly vaporized. After floating around for a bit. You no go kaboom today. You're right. Yeah, there you go. That's how you heal a person, you dumb idiot. Next time, help them better. Anything around the back here? 
any accolades for exploring? That's a Klingon bird of prey up there. Nice. Nice to take a screenshot of that. When I get up there. I like taking screenshots, but I often find in Star Trek Online that the best place to take a screenshot is ruined by a shadow that's been placed there to deliberately disrupt the screenshot. It's almost as if some dev has gone through the game looking at places where screenshots are likely to be taken and then putting shadows over them. So annoying. What's up here? The power of the Lord compels you to get up off your backside and go back to work. Well, this building doesn't seem to have a door. <laughs> hmm, that looks like it might be an accolade on the roof, you never know. Uh, I'm not going to waste time on that. Flank shot sneak. That's um, a Bagua tactic to flank you. It's a Nicole. they're down. Medic! I'm getting intoxicated here. <laughs> and the call for that toxic crap at you, I think. Okay, the last spatial charge. Where's tech support? Phone him up, ask him how to disarm a bomb. Okay, so which way are you supposed to cut? I don't know. And I don't think there's a way to work it out either. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a way to work out how to cut this wire, and I'm not sure. Mm, there's no clue. Let's have a look around. Cut wires on and spatial charge. Well, let's have a look around, see if there's any clues on which wire to cut. Doesn't seem to be. No? Then it's just a random guess. That's a pity. Well, red usually means danger. Green usually means go. What does orange mean? Maybe if you cut Ah, cut the red wire. It says it right here. I didn't notice that. 
disarm bomb. There. <laughs> the answer was right there, staring me in the face. <coughs> Just goes to show you have to read everything. Talk to Lieutenant Mule Paris. Well, I know all these things, but I'm going to go through them anyway. There is an ancient Klingon religious text that says the Kubama, or Savior, will lead the Klingon Empire back to glory. There are a lot of prophecies about the Kubama. Some say the Klingons will know him or her before the Kubama knows the world, and that the Kubama is stronger than Sidious. How did they come to believe it was you? Before I was born, Voyager encountered a group of Klingon pilgrims looking for the Kubama. They were dying, and the doctor used my genetic material to create a cure for them. To some Klingons, that proves I'm the savior they seek. I'm ready to assist you. Do you want to lead the Klingon Empire to glory? All I want is to be a good Starfleet officer. For every Klingon who wants to worship me, there's another who wants to kill me. It makes it hard to have anything resembling a normal life. Ah, Didums must be tough to be the Pope. I'm part Klingon, and I've never hidden it. But I'm part human, too. All I've ever wanted is for the species I come from to be in harmony. If I could find some way to reconcile the Klingons and the Federation, then I'll believe that the stories might be true. Until then, it's a case of mistaken identity. I'm ready to assist you. Is it true you are from the Delta Quadrant? Not exactly. My parents, Tom Paris and Alana Torres, were on the USS Voyager, which was lost in the Delta Quadrant for seven years. During its journey home, they married. I was born as Voyager reached Earth. I consider myself a child of the Alpha and Delta Quadrants. Well, I'd consider her a child of a transport conjurer with a Borg ship. A Borg one. <laughs> I'm ready to assist you. Why were you assigned to the peace conference? Ambassador Koss of the Klingon Empire requested my presence at the peace conference. The Starfleet thought that it would be a good idea, so I was temporarily reassigned to regular score. I'm no diplomat. My day job is chief of security on the USS Kirk. Honestly, I'd rather be back on my ship. But if being here helps the Federation and the Klingons find a peaceful resolution to the problems, Happy to help. Ah, in one of the previous episodes, it was um, the USS Kirk was part of a fleet that came to save my ship from an undying, from an undying ship. I'm ready to assist you. What do you recommend we do now? My tricorder shows no more spatial charges in the surrounding area. I'll stay here and help with the relief efforts. What's next? Just before you beam down, the leader of the Klingons, Captain Tukirk, entered the embassy and took the Federation diplomatic team hostage. He says he is waiting for a worthy adversary. If you're up to the task. Yeah, easy. <laughs> sure thing. If you want me to go kill someone, I'll go kill someone. Tukirk. Is that sort of like a Klingon version of Captain Kirk? Okay, now that I've talked to her, the prompt should have disappeared. So, let's follow the path. Oh no, we're not going up there yet. We've got to go in here. And I did that accidentally. I was going to have a look at that pathway that goes up a bit, but I accidentally clicked into, the, into here. Sir, ship scanners indicate the Federation diplomats inside. They appear to be guarded by numerous Klingons. I recommend you defeat all Klingon guards near a diplomat before beaming them up to avoid any unfortunate transport and mishaps. We wouldn't want to rescue the Klingons by mistake. Why not just beam them all into one consciousness? Beam them up in the, sh the ship. Beam them up to the ship and put them all conscious. Or we'll separate them in transport. And send the Klingons to the brig and the mats to the mess hall. 
I wonder should I face them with honor? Whoa, it's not working as I thought. This really isn't working well. Yeah, there's a bit too much lag on my internet connection. Felt like um, I was getting glued in place. So I've got a choice: which way do I want to go, left or right? Well, this is the wrong way, but we'll do it anyway. No, we can't get in there. It's locked. So let's go this way. Face me with honor. I don't even know if I'm hitting her or targeting her. Getting used to um, melee. Talk to Federation diplomat. Um, you're suffering a bit of hair loss there. We can give you that back during transport. Hmm. Nothing else to look at in there? What's that? What is that? Maybe I haven't been paying attention. That's why I don't know what it is. Oh, there's another door there. But the game seems to want us to go this way. Red alert. Cling on scum ahead. Yeah. around before we he's waiting for a worthy opponent was that worthy Before we talk to that diplomat and that one, I've got a scannable over here. Said particles, they're useful. And we've got um, two things to look at. Lockers, power cells, more power cells, lovely, talk to diplomat, what is a Kuvamar anyway, um, Kuvamar is that woman outside, 
Maybe you should know that if you're making peace with Klingons, you should know something about them first. Do your research, you silly diplomat. Thank you. You're welcome. Just remember, you owe me one. This is obviously the Klingon chamber, that's why it's paved in red light. Whereas the other chamber was the Federation one. So we're probably now going to the actual hall where the conference will take place. Yeah, knock you down. My officers seem to be doing more damage than I do. Now, did I see a Tribble amongst that lot? Fortunately, no, because a Tribble would have eaten away at my inventory. Let's have a look around at this nice set design. That's a good idea for a computer in its table. Bit of mesh modeling there, but imaginative. And we've got a scannable here that we might as well. Alright then, he's not going to be patient. There we go. Was that worthy? Let's get this scannable. Apparently with melee combat I recently figured that you click these but with your numbers you press the number buttons to click these but certain order of clicking gives certain types of hits. It's not just random. Apparently. I'm just trying to figure out how they do that. supposed to be combinations but I can't figure them out. Now how did that happen? What I think it is, is you click them And then it shows you a special combination while you're clicking them, which ones become available, I'm not sure. You click them randomly, and every now and then a special combination will become available. A special strike combination. Did we rescue any diplomats in there? I don't see any. And it says there's one more that needs rescuing. Oh yeah, there she is. Look at the freaky hair she's got. You need to comb that hair a bit, eh? I'll see that you get a commendation for this. Rather a pay packet. 
Tint sensors indicate several Klingon ships in the area. There, are, there also may be additional ships cloaked in the area. This could be a full scale invasion fleet. So the transporters are standing by as you command. So we didn't get to run up the hill to that other building. I should have done that first instead of accidentally clicking my way in here. Captain Colt, Klingon ships are decloaking, locking weapons. Oh, unlock them so I can use them. <laughs> speed! I said speed! First lot of Klingons dead. No problem. Another one down there. For all I know, it could be on a cool ship. No, nope. it's a Klingon. Come on. That's not a waste of open pops. That will consume my weapons power. Shall I use evasive instead? No flank bonus for attacking from behind. Let's see if we can get a torque in there. Whoops, what did I just press just then? My officer just Not said something. As well. as we have no in One of my officers just said something and I didn't listen. So we're being held by a Klingon ship transferring to main view screen. Okay. You have no equal, do you? I am Ambassador Koss of the Klingon Empire. I wish to meet with the Kuba monk on Regulus. However, another of my empire's ambassadors, Fafat, leads a noble house that is the enemy of my family. Fafat has used this opportunity to plot my death. Really? This Klingon seems a bit talkative. He is behind the attack on your diplomats. Treasury with blood. Fabat travels here from Kronos in his flagship. He will be here any second, and we will fight him together. Kapla! Well, thanks for making plans for me. There he is. Where's his flagship? These are just bird of praise. There it is. It's a make of our things. We subdued him. I think we have. Defeat.
Hey, Admiral Babat. Admiral Babat. So who is the real victor here? It says Admiral Babat here, but he's actually Ambassador Babat. And he's probably Dahar Master Babat. So I think that's a typo. So who is the real victor here? Um, phaser beam disruptor beam manufacturers? Our the Ferengi? Accolade complete, nuance to negotiator. It appears Babat has fled, Captain. At least we were able to unveil his plot and save Lieutenant Paris. She is apparently more important to the Klingon Empire than she realizes. Hmm. So Babat Master Babat Klingon retreated like a coward instead of facing his honourable death. Depart system. Oh, 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 I forgot to scan for um, materials. Oh well, I'm failing as a staff lead officer if I forget to scan. Anyway, we could hail staff lead, but they'll probably hail us if we wait for a moment. Lieutenant Paris is yep. reviled by some Klingons and practically worshipped by others. It's a difficult situation, but she does the best she can. I'm glad you were there to help. Yeah. It's going to pay me a bit more though. I mean, that doesn't look that great. I mean, I want another tactical console. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. So I just got up to level 16. And I get nothing for it. Doesn't matter. I bet he'll call me with another mission in a minute. Starfleet has received yeah. <laughs> Great houses. She claims to have vital information about Klingon war plans. And she is willing to exchange that information for relocation to a planet out of the Empire's grasp. Your orders are to go to the trading station in orbit of Argelius II and make contact with an Orion named Marta. She'll be waiting for you there. That area is a hotbed of illicit activity. They are in Federation space, so Starfleet has authority over them, but they sometimes resist our efforts to enforce the rules. Proceed to the treasure trading station in the Angela system of the Beta Quadrant and locate Marta, a defector from the Klingon Empire. Accept. Okay, we got some bits and bobs from running that mission, so let's see if we've got anything worth using. Improves control resistance, improves shield drain and energy drain, improves detection of cloak, which is useful here. And I think on this one, the set recharge time, oh, there it is. Set recharge time to 80% quid X. I think that's part of the ship. I don't think that comes from the deflector itself, I think it's an added thing. But I do believe this deflector might be better. It's got to be better than a Mark II. What core looks almost exactly the same. Yeah, it is exactly the same. An identical warp core to the one I've already got. Impulse engines, well it's not going to be better than what I've already got. And I don't see anything else worth putting on to this ship yet. No, this ship can stay as it is now. All I did was change the deflector. Now let's have a 
look at my character gear. Right, doesn't look like we've got a better weapon or anything, or a better kit, or any more kit modules to put in. Have we got any consumables devices to add? No. Now we've got a hypo there. That's it, really. So now we look at the officers. Start with her because she's not really a bit of a lackluster officer compared to the others, even though she's the only purple, really. It's to Met that's really getting the action, the science officer. And there's nothing better than what she's already using, I don't think. Some of them, and so I just want to get up four of them. She's looking after a triple, so it doesn't need from the inventory. No better shielding. No, she's fine then. About him. Um, the shielding is fine. His arm is fine. His weapon. Ah, there's a better weapon. Not much better though. But you can have it anyway. Will that stack onto that? Nope. So keep it like that. We can have that. Nothing else you can have unless he wants a sandwich. Bit of food. She can now have a better weapon. In fact, that would be better if it wasn't a stun pistol. I don't understand why we have stun when we're going to go for the kill. I don't know if there's a use for a stun. Maybe it helps when you're throwing grenades or something. He's got the best he can have. And now for the non away team ones, they get whatever's left over. Hasn't that weapon got a mark? Probably because it levels with you, but usually when the weapon levels with you, it has an infinity symbol on it instead of a mark symbol. Okay, I think there's nothing much to do. So there's nothing more to do there, except fly without an additional tactical console. Do you know what, I'll probably get that second console just as I get a ship that allows for free. pick up any batteries today. Space batteries, there's a shield one there, but I don't think that stacks with that one. We've had this problem before. Items that come with the ship don't stack onto identical items that haven't come with the ship. I mean, these two, they 
exactly the same. But they don't stack up on the pile. I've had that problem before. It's the same with hypos. Same with any device. So let's go and do this uh, treasure trading station. Let's just make sure it is the next one in order. Yep, there we are. There's a lot of episodes in the Klingon War. Let's travel there then. Auto navigate. I'm not spending cash to go there. We're going to save all that. <coughs> save it. This character is going to be a misey saver because he's not getting assistance from my other characters. I'm not using the account bank to transfer stuff over. I mean, I've got plenty of Zen at the moment, but I'm not going to use it on this character. That's for the other characters. is going to be a free-to-play character until he gets to a decent level of end game <coughs> where you can't go any further without spending money sort of level. I believe he's been doing some officer assignments. Oh, R&D. Now we've got another slot open. But let's keep going with beams, although, yep. Raise any school to level four, raise at least three schools to level five. But if we're going to have to raise three schools to level five to unlock this, then instead of doing another beams project, I'm going to do a cannons project. up to level 4 simultaneously. So this unlocks, which will allow me to level up engineering. So I've got three schools at level 5 by the time I'm ready to unlock this. And then it's just to focus on beams to get to 15. All completed assignments. Um, it's a failed one, another failed one, another failed one. What's this give you? Turrets. Well, I may as well collect all the awards. I've still got one month to go, three hours. That's made a start, at least. Well, let's find some more. Analyze alien array, analyze unknown, may set up colonists. Really looking too closely at what the assignments are. I'm just going to do what I can when I can. What's this one? There we go. I'm 
looking for assignment chains. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any that are quickly findable. So might as well just do the tactical ones and security ones. Since I'm a tactical officer. And to map, we'll keep her busy. No, there's nothing for her to do. Radical. Nothing there. First officer, too many. Experimental console upgrades, that'll probably give me a green tech upgrade, maybe. That's all the assignments we can do at the moment then. I probably had more officers than that. They were on assignment or on active except for this one. So why is this one showing up? Hmm. Ah, passengers. Okay, that's that out of the way. We don't have the reputation system yet, no. So let's do this episode. So, Treasure Trading Station. Is that my doorbell? Anyway, here we are, the Argalus system. The Argalus system has long been a haven for tourists and pleasure seekers. The night spots and clubs of Argalus too have been a popular shore leave destination since the 23rd century and the orbiting treasure trading station offers entertainments for those with more exotic tastes. One moment away from keyboard while I just check something. in orbit around Argillus for two. Our orders were right about this area being a hotbed for smugglers, sir. The trading station is delaying our request to beam aboard. I think they are planning on storing us as long as possible. I have a hunch. Let's do a wide area scan of the system. Ooh, goody, a scan! I'm actually officer. I love to scan things. Cool, sir. 
a lower level sensor scanner of the area picked up signs of illegal weapons and contraband in several of the ships in the system. It is Starfleet's duty to confiscate and any smuggled cargo within Federation space, plus doing so will likely expedite our boarding requests from the station. We will need to get closer scans of the cargo haulers to pinpoint any illegal goods. So it's disable smugglers. Do I want to scan first? Yeah, I want to scan first. Oh, there's something down there that can be scanned. Scan for materials first before I disable smugglers. Disable the smugglers. That station looks like it's got the ability to fold up. Hey, you, are you a smuggler? Looks like you are. Been called a cart. Well, that's one disabled. Unregistered freighter is likely to be a smuggler. They're all unregistered now that I've gone close. Try and give him a torpedo, shall we? Oh, I wanted to see the torpedo blocking my view. Sir, it seems that our policing of the freighters out here has expedited our request to beam aboard the station. We are cleared to beam aboard at our earliest convenience. Okay, to me. Let's go kill something. I know you're hungry for it. You're a sadistic scientist. Lieutenant Commander, I suggest we locate the administrator of this facility. We should be able to elicit information about Marta's whereabouts from them. Most life forms on the station are located in the nightclub area, so we should begin looking for them there. Okay, let's just have a look around the room, make sure I'm not missing anything. Is there a temple probe around somewhere? What do you expect? Ferengi, typical. Oh, that 
that sounds good. Do you have a holodeck? I'd like to run Vulcan Love Slave with Tamir. <laughs> We don't have time for that. I'm looking for an Orion named Marta. Have you seen her? She'll cost you 20 strips of latinum. Are you trying to extort a federation officer? Why are you horror? Sir, our records indicate that this station is long overdue for its Federation mandated safety inspection. The last inspection data is more than two years ago. I'm recommend, I recommend helping Quas here spot any punishable infractions. Maybe then he will feel generous enough to inform us of where Marta may be. I'm sure that Quas will appreciate our assistance in getting his establishment up to code. Inspect safety hazards. Okay. Well, yeah, this smells like um, a farm cesspit. Where did you get this cargo from? Are you transporting manure? Is that a fertilizer bomb? <laughs> What's this one? This crate is full of smuggled items. You, you naughty Ferengi. And look at this, we're leaking coolant everywhere. We can't be having that. What's all this? For a bar, it's not very bar-like. It's more like a cargo bay. There's a green and brown. That's not Marta. She looks half Orion, half Defri. That's why she's covered up a little bit more than usual. Oh, these are private meeting chambers where the doors can slide down and close it off. I'm imagining. Good God, broken Tongo wheels. Inspect video Tongo machine, eh? I don't remember this episode at all, being in a place like this from when I leveled up my other characters. I'm not going through there yet. This waste disposal pipe is leaking a toxic substance. Okay, this door wants us to go through it. Power suite two. the bar fight. Hang on, am I fighting my own guy? Did I just fight my own guy? Well, 
my officers seem to have taken care of all that for me while I was hitting the wrong buttons. Summon the security team. Why would I need to do that? Inspect the bar. Continue inspection, eh? Okay. Smuggler. What's through here? Something to steal. Always worth stealing from a Frankie. something to hide. Continue inspecting. Inspect bar. My captain take turbo lift to cargo bay. That was probably that locked door we saw. Or it could be the hollow deck there. I think it was the locked door. Yep. Hang on a minute. Before we engage those Klingons, let's see what's through here. Nothing. I might as well go the long way around and hurt the Klingons. melee attack. But the Klingons give them an honourable death. They might appreciate it. Ooh! Space doors. More Klingons! There's Marta over there. I seem to start remembering this episode now. Hey, quit running away. Face me with honor. I'm not going over with you yet. Letting you guys out yet. How many does it take to kill a Targ? Where are you? I wish you'd stop throwing that smoke grenade. Can't see what's going on with it. Oh, for God's sakes. Hi. 
it looks like keep looking around to see if there's any more scannables or loot or Klingons to kill before we open up the safe, open up these cells. Did we just stab that Klingon in the gut? Yeah, melee just doesn't seem to work very well in this game. Although it did on my Delta Recruit. Ah, a Temple Probe. Well, let's get that crate first. And now the Temple Probe. Yep, they're all seeing me unlock the probe. They must be wondering what the hell's going on. One digit and location. Match digit and location. One. Match digit, wrong location. So I think I misread it. So the first one seems to be the right one. The Nicole have an operative getting information out of Marta and funneling it back to the VATS organization. That explains how he stays ahead of the other Klingon houses. Yet another reason to help Marta. Let's find her and deal with her Nicole friend. Ooh, I've got a shield there that might be nice. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's better than the one I've got. So I'm putting that straight on. Might help to fight with the McCall when the time comes. And since I've given myself a better shield, and if I'm going to be fighting the McCall, I'm going to switch weapons to my gun. And then I can pass the shields on to the other characters. Thank you. 
Friend, we've got a few more. We've got another weapon there, but I don't think it's going to be better than what I've already got on these characters. Heavy disruptor tire prototype plans. That's probably for a duty officer assignment. And doesn't one of my officers need some more energy amplifiers? Or whatever they're called, uh, small power cells. That should do it for the time being. Okay, we've already investigated this temporal probe. I wonder if there's anything up there, one of those crates. Before we go to the prisoners, these are Klingon shuttles. Ready to snuggle stuff. And I just want to have a look outside. No, you can't see the planet anywhere. Just wanted to have a look to see. Now we free the prisoners. Which one is Marta? Who's him? That looks like a... What race is that? No, I don't know, but Disable Force Field. Ah, Patron. You, it's your lucky day. This looks like a Mirror Universe Officer. With the sash. Our patron. This looks like just a normal Starfleet member, maybe. Another bar patron? No, but I don't think she's Starfleet though. And this is Marta. Excuse me. I assume it was because the stitch in time A arrived before they could. Let's get you out of the cell. Okay, but you might want to put on something a bit more appropriate for the Federation since you're affecting. Skimpy clothes may work in the Empire, but not around here. We're all stuck up Federation Starfleet types. Okay, back to using the gun because I'm just not happy with melee. Take out his support first. was easy. Now let's free Marta. What's the point? There it is. Thank you. Why did the Klingons capture you? Was more persistent than I expected. 
Why did you work? Who did you work for on Quonus? What do you know about Ambassador Bavat? Crazy. Bavat was obsessed with keeping this war going. He'd do anything to keep the Klingons and the Federation at one another's throats. But why? He's smart and he's a planner. Deals with his wheels. He has half a dozen things going on, and I barely know the half of it. Ancient weapons, time travel, outlawed science. If there's a way to get what he wants, Bavat will do it. Things normal people wouldn't even consider. Bavat is already thought of it and figured out how to make it work. Anything else you wish to tell us? Nice try, but I'll only divulge military secrets to Starfleet intelligence. I will share one piece of gossip that may not have made it to your borders yet. Ambassador Worf, Mintok, Ash, Martok, and a former Starfleet officer lost his son in a conflict between the House of Martok and the House of Tor. Uh, anything slightly. <laughs> Are you ready to leave? Yes, let's get out of here before the rest of us start to wonder what's happened to Captain Earthog. Okay. Looks like I've got myself a guest on board. Lovely. A guest that's worth looking at. <laughs> Red Light Rescue. Oh, their vengeance was a bit lackluster. I didn't even have to move my ship. We did it, Captain! Marta has been sc scanned in sickbay. Once we return to Sector Space, we can hand her over to Starfleet Intelligence for questioning. Oh, and I forgot to go and scan that scannable down there. Oh well. I'm missing out on materials because I'm not scanning enough. It's not very good for a Starfleet officer. Hang on a minute. Did I just warp out when there was still something to do? Go to Treasure Trading Station. Oh, I wasn't supposed to warp out, I was supposed to beam to the station. Make your way to cargo base 6. I don't know what I did there, but did I accidentally warp out? Get out of my way. I'm on a mission here. There's mirror universe officers here for some reason. Fred Bear Trading Post. Locate okay, Marta in the cargo bay. Yeah, I must have beamed out by accident. So I'm going to have to go through it again. I walked out of the system by accident. Well, let's just speed through it.
Speed away from it then. Yeah, I made a mistake. I walked out when I wasn't supposed to, I believe. And the probes moved. Uh, might as well pick up this stuff while we're at it. Get some more. Looks like I'm doing this one all back to front. Oh, we've got a different puzzle. Set the unknown values so the rows and columns of the squares all add up. Add up to what? Ah, add up to 15. So, set variable A to 5. Ah, I see what it means. 2 plus 9 is 11, so variable A must be 4. 7 plus 5 is 12, so variable B must be 3. 6 plus 1 is 7, so variable C must be 8. It worked. The Nicole have an operative getting information out of Marta and funneling it back to the VATS organization that explains how he stays ahead of the game. Blah blah blah. What's for there? Nothing. You know what? To make up for um, not picking up scannables, I'm going to run back through the station again and collect little bits and bobs. to go back upstairs. So we're just going to have to continue on. I think I just got a temporal effect.
inventory full. That means we've got to move something. Speeded for it a bit. Not much, but a bit. Okay, where are you? There you are. Die! I keep spamming this keybind, even though there isn't one. This time I've got to move. So it did say depart system. Now, this time I'm going to do the scanning that I didn't do before. I think I know what it was. I must have pressed that to depart system. I don't remember. Instead of pressing the ops button. Yeah, I must have departed system by pressing that instead of by doing it this way. says hey, hail stop it so stop it's gonna hail me any second. Starfleet intelligence is interviewing Marta now. She could have information key to our war efforts. Good work. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Ah, I'm now ranked second team. Lieutenant Commander Starfleet rescued from the treasure trading station claims that the Klingons have a secret base in the Hiromi cluster and that they are using as a staging area for an attack on the Federation. I have been authorized to provide you with the coordinates of the Klingons base. Proceed to the Briar Patch and find out what the Klingons are hiding. If there are any weapons there, you are to deactivate or destroy them. He's asking me to go to the Briar Patch. Isn't that the same place where the latest episode takes place? The Bushfire episode. 
so wouldn't I get a double prompt if I go there, one for each episode? Anyway, let's have a look at what we're getting for 17th Lieutenant Commander Space Ability, 75,000 experience points earned, fire on my mark for a tactical officer, so I'm getting fire on my mark now, a space ability. And there it is, already loaded. And fire on my mark is equivalent to the engineering EPS power transfer of the side subnucleonic beam, which means it's quite a powerful thing. Plus minus 25 full damage resistance rating for 30 seconds, minus 90 stealth strength for 30 seconds. In other words, you can really um debuff your enemy with that one. Oops, wrong gun. I'm going to just move it up to here. So it's on its own in a spot where I can easily see it. Okay, so we'll try it. Jump up over here. Now we've got a full inventory at the moment, <laughs> so we've got to figure out what to do. That's the old deflector. It's got all my more advanced stuff on it. Well, the best stuff I've got at the moment is already on the ship. I wouldn't mind getting a phaser, the dual phaser cannons. No better armor yet. Ah, there's a blue weapon. That's probably as good as something I've already got here. So she can have that blue weapon then. Oh no, it does, oh, 27 disruptive damage opposed to 28 phaser. 78 phase of damage, but that disruptive damage is times three. Why? Oh, she's getting it. Which means he gets her hand me down. And then Tomek gets his hand me down. And Stablin gets hers. leaves these guys. Ooh, what's that one? Didn't see that one. It's a minigun. Why do they call them miniguns when they're actually bigger? You know, I should really give it to him, but I think She'll like it best because she's a bit sadistic. Pieces on no. Oh, there's another good weapon. Plasma stunned. Oh no, it's not good. Yeah, 
idea is to make some space in my inventory, but I guess I'm just going to have to get rid of um, some of these things. This looks like a better kit. I'm going to get rid of some of these common whites. Is this better? I think she's happy with what she's got. juggle the things around. made some space. Secret orders. Go to Briar Patch. Okay. I might have to sort out my ground tool tray when I get to the ground. I must remember to do that. I'll play this episode, then I'll end the video. far from the Briar Patch. Hmm, a distance away. Give me a moment to have a bit of nicotine. Nobody's been talking to me, that's good. No, I haven't missed a message, that's good. Don't even know. 
I'm online since I'm a novice. Aha, here we are then. No brush fire prompt. That's good. Warning. Starfleet has deemed this area of space to be a level 6 hazard to starship navigation. Hazards include high levels of metaphasic radiation, pockets of metrion gas, supernova fragments and false vacuum fluctuations. Ship speed is restricted to one third impulse to avoid damage to the impulse manifolds. <sighs> metaphasic radiation, does that mean I'm going to start getting younger? Like in the movie Insurrection, like the Baku. They don't know. Martok did. Captain Colt, long range sensors are picking up several Klingon battle groups. They appear to be placing self replicating disruptor cannon turrets throughout this region. If we don't take those cannons, take out those cannons now, this entire asteroid belt will be bristling with Klingon defenses. Thank you for the suggestion. Anything else? As you know, the composition of this nebula will make maneuvering at high speeds impossible. In addition, the briar patch contains pockets of metrion gas. The gas is highly reactive to weapons fire, and it would it could be very dangerous. Starfleet recommends we keep stitching time a at least four kilometers away from the gas clouds. This should keep us safely out of range if one of them happens to ignite. Keep a distance of four kilometers. Got it. However, the gas can also be used as a weapon. Captain, do you remember the Riker maneuver? If we detonate pockets of gas when the Klingons are close to them, they will do a lot of our work for us. That's not the Riker maneuver. The Riker maneuver is sucking it up first. Captain, as you are aware, the Metreon clouds in this system require us to maintain a low impulse speed or risk damage to the ship. You sound like you have an idea. I do, sir. Let's hear it, Tomet. How are you going to kill people today? I think if we modify the buzzard collectors to filter out only a percentage of the Metreon particles, then we could use excess energy to go to full impulse without risk to the ship. I'm not entirely sure what that percentage might be, though. Too risky. We'll adhere to Starfleet guidelines on speed for this mission. Oh? There's a science one that I can't do because I'm a tactical officer. Oh well. Might get a tactical thing to do later. But we've got to stay four kilometres away from the Metreon gas. Although we can target it and ignite it. See if it takes out any of those turrets. No? Okay. There's a lot of gas clouds here. What's that? Temple probe, maybe? There's a raptor there, and there's metrium gas there. Will it take out the raptor? No, it didn't take out the raptor. Will that take out the turret? 
Always time to scan. We bit of metric on gas. Uh-oh. First time I didn't follow on my mark. Complete severe serum. Sir, sensors are picking up energy signatures near the large asteroid. I believe it to be defense turrets guarding a facility on the asteroid's surface. Sensor readings for the facility suggest some sort of military research base. I'll place a waypoint on the navigational map for us. Okay. As you so wish, there it is. But before we do that, let's see if we can clear all this mess up and scan as well. Metrion gas and a metrion gas cloud. Can't go to full impulse here, but I want to clear all this rubbish away as well, just to be thorough. Defeat defences and beam onto station. Not yet. Does the gas reform after you've destroyed it? So I could be wasting my time doing this.
Yeah, I think I'm wasting my time doing this. Oh no, it's disappearing from the map, so I'm clearing away. Yep, can't pull impulse. The clouds must think it's a right stormy day in the nebula today. No engineering team. And it does look like the gas reformed, so I am wasting my time doing this. So let's just go to that Klingon base. Because the gas does reform. Captain, I don't have the power! Ah, Klingon ship. from engine room. I don't have the power to keep these weapons going. Got no rear weapon, only got a tool on the back. Come on, we're almost at the waypoint. I seem to remember this episode from long ago. There used to be an accolade if you fly through the the donut. But that was years ago. I don't know if it's true, if it's still gonna be present, hardly likely. Hardly likely you'll still get an accolade for that. And I don't remember fighting Klingons here before. I thought it was the Chem Hadar or something. Well, that was, what, four years ago, maybe? Well, there's an alarm clock going off for no reason. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, Klingons love hanging around the asshole of the universe. That's just the kind of people they are. What did my NPC just say? I can never read it when they pop up here because it just pops up. By the time you notice it, it's gone. So you never realise what they say. Come on. A bit faster. Normally in these episodes you get in a bum's rush. Not today it seems. Gotta hurry, gotta get things going, gotta get it done. Even though you don't really have to.
Right, there's some turrets here, which are going to be hard to destroy by the looks of things. Channel. Captain, the defences have been neutralised. We should be able to proceed. The away team is standing by. They will transport at your command. Beam to the station. And kill everything. <laughs> kill them all. Captain, there are several click-ons here, but my tricorder also is picking up two additional life signs in the area ahead. Hostages, maybe? Don't worry, hostages. I'll save you. announcing my presence. <laughs> no, nope, can't go through that one. I'll breach that one. These doors made out of gold. Lovely. Must have been supplied by the Ferengi. Um, would you like a grenade? Which one do you want? Plasma or photon? I think photon. Well done to me. I bet she likes a mini gun. Sadistic bitch. And that smoke, I hope it's not going to be hiding any loot. Do you wish to join? It might be possible, but it I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, look, it's a crate. Hey! I was looting! You just make me mad! Any more, you scum, to interfere with my looting? or crates or anything. I always like to take the non-conventional route. Okay, that one talks, does this one? Talk to Dr. Everly. Don't kill us, have their own weapons makers. I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but act fast. I'm going to the shuttle bay and getting out of here. How'd you get here? Long 
prolonging the war with the Federation. He thinks that unless the Klingons have an enemy on which to focus their energies, they'll fight amongst themselves and tear the Empire apart. Kind of right. He hasn't let much information his way, but I know that he found some sort of device abandoned in deep space. He wants to use it in an attack so horrible, the people of the Federation will demand that Starfleet take revenge. Sounds like there's um, neutronium penetrating weapons and blowing up planets. I think it sounds very doomsday machine kind of talk. Both scientists are safe, sir. I suggest we locate those weapons. We can set up explosive charges and remotely detonate them when we return to the ship. Why not just use the ship to detonate the base? So we go through the other door this time, where we find the weapons. Breach door. Breaching, 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 breached. I breached a door. What's over here? Probably nothing. Yep, nothing. Got to go down deeper into the depths of hell. Oh! Klingon's still there? No, I'll have to show them. Hold well on, crew. There's a crate. There's probably a locked door. So that means the weapons are through here. The weapon schematics. Hear the fight. <laughs> no, there's more clean ones over there. Here's move. Say that whenever they see a move, but they do. Plant spatial charge, and I hope that it will grow. 
what you've got to do is give it a little water. Let's try another one over here. Just run around it in case there's a crate behind it. Those Klingons over there, they probably heard the fire, and what they should be doing is disarming everything I arm. Ooh, the Temple Probe! We'll leave it for a moment. Thanks, crew. We'll leave that probe for a minute. indicate a computer core in the vicinity. Can you upload its content to the stitch in time? It may give us insight into how Klingons were planning to use these weapons. We may even find out ends of the that's ultimate plan. Okay, I'll do that, but one thing at a time. Change digit in series. Change first digit to one. Test. Correct digit wrong location. Change digit second. Change that to one. Test. Correct digit right location. Change digit. Change digit. Change first. Go to two. Test. Change first. Go to three. Test. That's two. Change digit. Third. One. Test. Three. That's good. Change digit. Fourth. One. Test. Change. Fourth. Two. Test. Change. Fourth. Two. Three. Test. Change fourth to four. Test. Change fourth to five. Test. There we go. The probe was an anchor point for Nakul data transmissions. They've been aiding Babat's weapons research. Collect the data and purge the probe's memory. And then just leave it there for people to study. So these are Nicole, Nicole probes. They're not sent by some futuristic force. But it's giving me information. It's Nicole stuff that I'm hacking into. Oh crap! Ow! Raised research. Inventory full. Return to ship cancel because the 
got to find places for things. do for a moment that leaves us three open slots so we can beam to the ship. Captain, we have the data. We hold on, red alert. There is a Klingon ship leaving the facility. Please return to the ship so we can pursue. I can't while you have red alert because your shields are up. Obviously not. You're so like dead. You were blindly led to the slaughter. I knew you would find my weapon research station. I was the one who sent Marta to give Starfleet its location. While you were busy destroying what you thought to be all of our work, my crews were busy offloading the more promising weapons and data onto the ship that has a nice head start on you. Tactical, what's the situation? That transmission came from outside the system, sir, but, but that wasn't just boasting. Sensors indicate that several Klingon ships are attempting to escape the system. They appear to be trying to use the asteroid belt to mask their warp core signatures. If we hurry, we should be able to intercept them. Oh, step on it! Ah, no, we can't step on it. Not why we've got that. Remote detonation. Good night! Is that it? What about that bullet there? I wanted to see the asteroid crack apart like um, one of those Borg gateway things. There's the ship's bottom to things. There's some hydrazine gas.
loot here. Let me get me loot first. Excellent work, Captain, but that won't be getting his hands on those experimental weapons. And we have transmitted the data from the computer core to Starfleet Intelligence. Will I get a Howling torpedo? Or something at some point. I mean, that's an advanced Klingon weapon. Anyway, what was that accolade that I got? Was there an accolade? Depart system. And wait for Starfleet's hail. Yeah, you're telling me. To your academy training that you and your crew survived. Yeah, I know. I'm just that good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you get to choose. Now, let's see what we've already got. I've already got better armor than that. And I do need a tactical console. Science console helps with exotics. Science particle generator improves exotics. I don't think I'm going to want that. And this character's going to be more about firepower than exotics. And I do need a tactical console. I've already got armor, so I'm going for the tactical console, even though it is not the best kind of console to have. No, in fact, it's a bit of a mismatch. No, I'm just not, because it's a lesser version of these things. But we've got to have a tactical console somewhere. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Got to have a tactical console. No, my luck. Now that I put. There are more reports than usual about Klingon and Gorn attacks along the border of Federation space. Starfleet has created a task force to patrol the area. Proceed to your assigned coordinates in the Zarentine system and begin patrolling. If you receive any distress signals, you are authorized to do whatever is required to assist. Right, we'll play we'll save that episode for the next video. And knowing my luck, now that I put this on, I'll probably get a reward from an episode to another one of these. Now, so this Task Force Hippocrats. We will um, play that with the next video. But for now, we'll just finish off this video by collecting the. sorting out the inventory and collecting the things we're due. So. Three new officers, duty officers. A bartender. Mm. Big charge time just for transports. Damage control engineer, that's useful. In fact, it's so useful I may even put him on the ship. On active duty. Yeah, well, we don't need transport cooldown, so we can swap him. Now we've got a damage control engineer on there. Damage control useful because they 
quicken the recharge time for this ability, among others. Um, looks like we've got a few completed onto them. That's always useful. Now we haven't acquired anything better than the gear we've already got on this ship. But have we acquired anything better for her? No, that's the same. But her shields and her guns, no more consumables. And nothing for him either. Hang on, let's see what I'm saying. Ah, oh, that's a good gun. That's a stun pistol, so it's useless. So is that. Um, what have we got here? might be worth replacing but I didn't do it before because she's got energy and physical damage so she can withstand a battle it. That shield might be worth hanging on to for a little bit. Sorry that armor. She offers us a wood, we got them. Can't promote anyone yet, no more trait slots. Yeah, no. I think we should get rid of some stuff, maybe. Maybe, I haven't visited this character's bank for a while. Maybe we should put some stuff in the bank, get it out of the way. Some things like the food, I'm just collecting because I've got a huge stack of it that I can sell. I'm a bit of a hoarder of these things. Yeah, I'm going to go visit the bank, actually. Summon trade freighter. be useful. There, he's got nothing in his bank account, so that will clear some space. But we don't need these plasma grenade things. The science kits don't work. Ah! Won't go on there. We do that.
keep these in my inventory for now. Uh, actually, put them into storage. Probably won't use them, but still, let me just end up selling them. Still, I'd like to get rid of things straight away, just in case they, I find a useful one. So I've up some nice space in my inventory. <laughs> so now I'm going to try some office assignments. It's important to keep them going. If there are any available. No assignments available at the moment. There's ten in progress, ten open slots, but none available. Probably need more duty officers or something. So I think everything's in good nick so far. Just tell her browse. Yeah, that's okay. So now we go there and then end the video and we'll play that episode in the next video. One more thing I've just remembered. This guy. We'll do that when we get there. So it's not that far to go. To the Sarentine system. Nothing available to level 20. Claim for R&D. Episode playthrough. The story episode. Play through this. That's for story arcs. Admiral T. Reputation progress. Duty of commentations. Play. Ah, here we go. He claimed that one. The Klingons are willing to use any weapon available to destroy the Federation, even time itself. It falls to a small group of brave Starfleet officers to restore the timeline and rescue one of their own. Who controls this sector may determine who controls the war. Thank you, Spock. So that's another three episodes temporal agent stuff claimed. Plus 
the R&D thing. R&D and episode rewards. Ooh, what did I get for R&D? Get some office R&D officers. You will receive from you. You received the following from. From what? Do I get them all, or do I just get the highlighted one? I don't know. Fifteen percent chance to reduce cooldown on shield powers. Doesn't see what he is, or him, or him, or him, or him. Normally, it comes up here. Ah, I did get them all. So that means I can do more assignments. ones I do, just as long as I keep them going. Obviously it doesn't require energy credits or dilepium. Okay, that's all the assignments I can do for now. Two open slots, but not enough officers. And the Admiralty system is not available yet. Hey! Don't you go doing that. Back up a bit. Stop when I tell you to stop. Don't go off on a holiday. Artificial intelligence glitch on the ship there, it wanted to go away. So these are marks packages, which means I'm going for Nukara marks as usual. Because that will be the first reputation I level up in a lock. Hundred and seventy five from car marks so far. Holographic the old series crew for bridge officers. I haven't got bridge officer slots to house them. And I don't think we're gonna need that personal shield. I don't know what it's doing there. But it'll stay there for now. Okay, I think we're going to end the video here and pick it up at the next video with Task Force Hippocrats. But for now we're going to end the video here and see you next time. 
Bye.